Here's your WNEM TV5 news update. Good morning, everyone. I'm Colette Stinger. Here's a look at the top stories we're following today. Here in Michigan, the House Oversight Committee is meeting this morning to discuss the vaccine rollout and high school contact sports. Representative Timothy Beeson of Bay City is expected to propose a resolution to urge Governor Whitmer and the Health Department to lift the ban on high school sports and allow play to immediately resume. You can find a link to the broadcast at 10.30 a.m. in the hot link section of WNEM.com. Mayor Brenda Moore will deliver her State of the City address in Saginaw today. It's on Zoom at 8, as well as live streamed on the Saginaw Chamber's Facebook page. Anyone can tune in to watch, but registration is required for the Zoom. Just head on over to the hot link section of WNEM.com. SVSU is showcasing Black History through a traveling exhibit, Black History 101. It's a collection of thousands of artifacts from a slave trade up to hip hop culture. Hip hop takes center stage at SVSU's Marshall Fredericks Sculpture Museum. The exhibit runs through the end of the month. Now here's Chris with a look at your forecast. Hi there, Colette. A pretty easy day right on the front end. It looks like you'll be in for a pretty smooth morning commute. I think later this afternoon, temperatures won't be too bad either. We'll be in the mid-30s. Wind chills a little bit cooler than that, especially in the afternoon when winds start to pick up. But I do think we stay dry through the first half of today and much of the afternoon. Your sky tracker shows most of the snow still well to the west of us. Our air mass relatively dry from the nice days that we've had recently. So it is going to take some time before we can eventually see that precipitation move back in. I think that's closer to around 5 and 6 o'clock along 127. It will gradually spread eastward as the night goes along. I think the heaviest and most consistent snow is between about 7 p.m. and midnight. It's during that time we could see some snowfall rates around a half inch up to an inch per hour. And then once we get to midnight and onward into tomorrow morning, that snow starts to slow down a little bit and it does look like we'll be at least drying out for the morning commute. Unfortunately, we will have plenty of snow that's fallen, so cleanup will take take a while and with temperatures falling some of this snow that could be a little bit on the wetter side could refreeze tomorrow morning making that process a little bit more tough than usual looks like about two to four inches around the tri cities to the east three to six in areas in the light blue shading closer to 127 and northwest of the tri cities i think most of those areas will fall between about three and five but we'll nudge that top end up just a touch to be on the safe side as far as your seven day forecast goes we do expect temperatures to really drop off into the weekend and also so early next week, I think wind chills by tomorrow afternoon and evening are flirting with zero or falling below and then teens are pretty much in the forecast through Wednesday of next week. Remember to tune into WNEM TV 5 on air and online 24 7 for the latest news, weather and information.